What's up, guys? I know it's early in the morning, but I've been seeing a lot of shit on Facebook that I do want to clear the air about. And this is something that I've noticed for, <laughs> you know, a while now. And this is something that's completely true. And that is, every time you think of the underground, you know, what do you think of? Most people think, you know, ICP, Twisted, Blaze, and all that. Well, and to some extent that is true, but Every time somebody mentions the underground, they automatically connect it to ICP. Yes, as it may be true that ICP was one of the groups that made it huge like it was. But there was underground music long before ICP ever came around. Long before. Look at Tupac. Look at Biggie. How in some cases look at M and M. And see, not all underground is related directly to ICP. Take a look at my buddy Cryptic Wisdom. Take a look at my homie Matt PFV. Hell, you want to get down right technical? Take a look at this new artist that I found. NK47, he's got some good shit. Take a look at Crucifix. Take a look at Hollywood Undead. Black Veil Brides. Hell, in most cases, if you want to get downright technical, even though they were one of the biggest bands on the planet, Lincoln Park. See, not all bands and artists are directly linked to ICP. The underground has many different subcultures, very many different subcultures. One of the biggest being the gothic, the cyber goth, the steampunk, and stuff like that. Like, you know, hell, even punk rock starting to make somewhat of a comeback. Shout out to Green Day. I mean, hell, you want somebody that has been doing music before they even heard of ICP, take a look at myself. I was doing music long before I heard about ICP and Boondocks and everybody on Psychobatic Records. Yes, it may be true that I do listen to guys like Boondocks and stuff now, but before that, I was listening to the very different underground bands. One of them actually being from my good buddy Derek Yutani and his band Cyclone 9. Shout out to Cyclone 9 and Derek. You guys rock. Fucking love your music. See, everybody gets this whole underground thing mixed up saying that, oh, underground is all about ICP and Twisted. No, it's not. There's many different subcultures and subgenres of music within the underground. ICP didn't start it. It was already there. They just helped make it to what it is. They just helped the subculture of that particular horrorcore genre move up to what it is now. See, not... Everybody is in the ICP like that. Hell, I know a lot of freaking artists and bands that are, you know, very much underground, but they don't listen to ICP. Hell, some of them don't even like it. And that's okay. Which, and as far as personal preference goes, I'm not that big on ICP either. Now, I will listen to guys like Boondocks, um, ABK and stuff like that, but personally for ICP, not that big of a fan. Not like I used to be. Like their older stuff, yes, but their newer stuff, not so much. 
But what all you guys don't realize, they're saying that ICP is the biggest part of it and that the jugglers are the biggest part of the underground. That's not true. There's other subcultures out there that are just as big and just as influential and just as important. The problem is, you guys are so freaking narrow, <laughs> narrow minded, and you got your minds so closed off to these other different ways of life that all you think is, oh, underground, ICP, boondocks, you know, psychopathic records, MNE, Tech 9. And, you know, obviously, his label, Strange Music, which, and I can see that. I really can't, like, I can see where you guys get that. But the reality of it is, the underground was always there. It's always been there. Even before ICP, before Boondocks, before Tech 9, before Strange Music or Psychopathic ever came along. The underground music scene has always been there. And I honestly am getting sick and tired of people saying, oh, the underground was started by ICP. No, the fuck it wasn't. The underground music scene came along way before they could ever think about it. Because if you really think about it, in the music scene, the underground has always been there. ICP didn't discover the underground. They didn't make the underground. The underground was already there. They just became a very huge part of it. So before y'all go saying that the underground is all about, you know, psychopathic records and about the juggalos, do your research. I guarantee you, you'll find that there was a lot more artists and bands before they ever came along. And a lot of these bands and artists are still very much around to this very day. And some of them I even listen to. Not gonna lie. But like I said, do your research. Get informed before you start stating facts that you don't know or sure or not. I've done my research. And if anybody tells you that the Juggalos are the ones that made the underground, you look at them and tell them to talk to me. Because everybody says, oh, well, the underground, anybody that's in the underground listens to ICP. That's not true. I don't listen to ICP. And I was doing music long before I heard of ICP. Or psychopathic records. I started back in 2010. And I didn't hear about ICP or Boondocks till about late 2011. I had no idea that that kind of music even existed to be honest with you. So anybody tries to tell you that the underground was started by ICP, you show them this video and tell them to do their facts. Get the facts straight. 